Welcome to Abe's Front Porch Talk. I am standing in the Maple Hill Cemetery today. And there comes a car. So I'm trying to watch myself, folks. Sorry. But I am standing here in the cemetery. And this cemetery has a lot of history in it. And what you just saw there in the beginning of the video of the angel, that is actually some of these old tombstones that were here from the 1800s. And this angel that I just showed you, if you guys can see it again, that angel, it says that the person was born 1811 and died 1831. So that will show you how old. This looks like to be a family plot here. And I love the fence of this. Sorry, I've got to get this adjusted better for you. Let me get it right over here. And maybe you can see it better. I'm using a selfie stick and my cell phone, folks, for this is all I have at the moment to use. So I'm trying to show you guys and it's got a little walk-in entrance and there's a bench out there if you can tell there's a little bench but I just think this is neat and you can tell it's been freshly cut I don't know if the city of Huntsville did this or if the family comes out here and takes care of this but it's pretty nice setup and I like this and there's another one I wanted you guys to see. And a lot of you know about Maple Hill Cemetery. It's in Huntsville, Alabama. You know, probably a lot of you paranormal researchers have heard about this place and the Dead Children's Playground that's connected to this cemetery. I won't be able to go through it all today, but I won't even be able to make it to the Dead's Children Playground, but I plan on doing some more later on. Now, here's the thing. The Dead's Children Playground is believed to be from the children that are buried here in Maple Hill Cemetery. And they are to believe their spirits have been going to the, cemetery, uh, to the playground and getting on the swings and swinging. They had sand at one time, and the sand would turn green from the rumors I have heard my whole life. And the swings would swing back and forth by themselves. And it would happen at night. But they shut down the park at night where no one can go in anymore. And they have actually went in and remodeled the park. Because there's been a lot of incidents that has happened late at night. And they're trying to keep people from going there and trying to find this and getting hurt. Here in Maple Hill Cemetery... You have to be out of the cemetery by dark. They don't want you in here at night because I've heard throughout the years, now this is what I've heard, that people used to come in here and try to see if they could see ghosts and things like that because this cemetery is known about spirits. And they say in this cemetery some people have had spirits to latch on to them and go home with them. And it's this cemetery has a lot of history. But here's another tombstone I wanted you to see. This one right here. And that one is a very old tombstone. And as you can tell, a lot of these graves are old. So forgive me folks, like I said, I don't have a whole lot to do. This one here looks like the Virgin Mary. It says 1891 to 1892. And this may be another little small family plot. And I love how they got these graves here. 
and they look like a little bed. This one looks like it could be a little children's. But this is pretty neat how they have stuff. But it's the tombstones, like with the angels and the Virgin Mary, that I like so much. And, you know, even if you're a paranormal researcher, I love for you guys to hit me up if you see this video. And maybe we could come out here one night with your equipment and stuff and I could film on mine and you do what you do for your channel. I think it would be cool. And maybe you guys could teach me some things that I don't know about. Yeah, because I'm still new to trying to explore and adventure out. And those of you who's been in this long enough, you know what I'm talking about. And look at this and look at this and... I just like that. But another reason why I came, I may have my selfie stick too high, folks. Another reason why I am actually here in the Maple Hill Cemetery is that I was looking up online about ghost huntings in Alabama. And there was a name that popped up of a woman who was buried or who is buried here in Maple Hill. And she was 18 years old. Her name is Mary Builds. And they say when you knock on her mausoleum where she's at, there's a rocking chair that sits in this mausoleum. And when you knock, it rocks back and forth and that's her way to say hi. And she has been out here since the 1800s. And now this has been going on since then. And a lot of people would come here. And what they would do, they would knock to hear this. And that was another reason why people were coming here late during the night. Well, from what rumors told me here at Maple Hill Cemetery in Huntsville, Alabama, is that there were some teenagers out here before, and this was years ago. And uh, they were play playing around, and one girl had a tombstone to fall on her and crushed her and killed her. So, after that, I believe they decided to put a Sydney city ordinance on being out of the cemetery at night. Also, also there is a senator or governor of Alabama who is buried in this cemetery. And they said that you can see horses and buggy from his grave and they're solid white and they come out of his mausoleum and that you'll see it at a certain time at night floating by. Now, I'm not for sure what part of this cemetery he's buried in and I may be wrong, but I, he, I think he was a senator or something, but there's a lot of people in history that you can find online that's buried in this cemetery. But I'm headed to Mary Bill's grave now. I just wanted to share those angels first. Now, Maple Hill Cemetery was established in 1818, as you can see. So, and, oh yeah, here's this one. I was here yesterday, folks, and did a 20-minute video, and it all disappeared before I could upload it, and I cannot find it nowhere in my Google Photos or in my gallery or anything. And I called Google this morning, and they are not answering the phone because of this COVID-19. So, i am come back today just to redo the video, so I hope it takes. But this here... This is a private family plot here. And I love the entrance, how they've got that. I thought that was so beautiful. This private entrance here. And the gates they have. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. 
I don't really want to give the names, but you can tell that's an 1811 to 1900 on this one, 1809 to 1881. So, I don't know. And this cross here yesterday, folks, when I was here, as you can tell, that cross behind me there, when I was here filming, the light of the sun was shining down on it, and through the video, it looked like an angel shining down on this cross. Now, I'm upset because that video had disappeared, and hopefully I can find it. And it, I know it has to be in my settings somewhere, but I would love to have that one up. But here are some more tombstones. I hope you can see her. I'm trying not to get too high up. There we go. I gotta figure out how the camera works on this phone. I haven't been on YouTube in a while and I apologize for that, folks. But before it gets darker, I'm gonna hunt down Mary Bibb's grave real quick and I will show you guys some more stuff. And, uh, cause there is another tombstone that it um it's pretty neat how they did it from a tree but anyways moving on the story about mary bibbs she was 18 years old married and she became sick and i don't know what kind of sickness if it was a uh, common cold or the flu but their housekeeper they had, she went to get the medicine for her. And in their pantry, they had a bottle of medicine and a bottle of poison. And their housekeeper accidentally grabbed the bottle of poison and gave it to her and it killed her. So... Over here is Mary Bibb's grave, but it's in a mausoleum. Now, you can't see the inside of this, and I've heard different stories on this mausoleum. Now, I've knocked yesterday, and I was here two weeks ago, or three, and me and my friends knocked in. We didn't hear no rocking chair, so someone said that it's probably certain times of the day or something, but here, let's see if we can't hear. I'm going to take this off. Nothing. But this is Mary Bibb's grave here, folks. And to all you paranormal researchers, maybe you can figure something out. And maybe you need the technology to hear her speak or have the um, equipment to hear the rocking chair move. So, but that's it. And the names are fading out and it has a list of her names and I'm all tangled up in my cords here. So, there you have it with Mary Bibb's grave. And hopefully I can find more. Maybe you guys know some places I could go that people say is haunted and give me some stories in behind it. And I may or may not be able to go check it out, but hopefully I'll be able to. Help me reach 1,000 subscribers so it will help me financially to travel to these places. Now, folks, I want you to see this tree here, how they cut this tree and carved this tree. Y'all see that? Ain't that neat? I'm going to walk up to it more. Now, this tree... Now, this is pretty neat. But I don't see any names written on it, and I'm guessing... I noticed this yesterday. 
So I'm guessing this is a grave because it looks like something's written there and it looks like it's breaking open in there. There's a, where the roots into the grave. So imagine that's why the tree is like it is. And here's another tombstone I like. And it's all, this place is beautiful with the trees and the old tombstones from the 1800s. I mean, and they say this place goes many miles. There's a lot of acreage to this place. And I didn't know how much acreage is actually on this place, but... I think someone told me maybe a hundred and ten if not more I don't know that's just a rumor I heard but I want you guys to see these three let me step back more that one's not getting in there good there we go so I hope you guys are enjoying this tour oh yeah I remember seeing this one yesterday and I don't know how y'all think about this one right here this big tombstone here that is an Owen from says the person was born in 1798 and died 1848 so now that's a pretty big tombstone and that's how old that one is now there's a newer part of the cemetery on the other side and there's a lot of normal tombstones you would see in modern day times but here look at this one folks let me get down here there you go I ain't never seen one like this before. That's pretty neat. But there are all kinds of tombstones here that I have never even seen before. If I came here more often, I would. But see, I don't have family buried in this cemetery. All my family is buried in another family cemetery. So I really had no reason to come here. But my time is almost up. I want you to see this right here too, folks. This is old right here. That's an old grave there. But people, I'm gonna get off here. It's telling me my 23 minutes is almost up. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe. Send to your family and friends. I hope you guys well, subscribe to this channel, find others. Like I said a while ago, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please help me get to 1,000 subscribers so I can start out exploring. I would love this. Help me live a dream. Thank you so much.